well, there are going to be some hilarious mispronunciations by me in this next video. It's about Rudyard Kipling's father, John Lockwood Kipling. Um, if there's anyone Indian watching, please note that these are just accidental mispronunciations. You could have a good giggle at how I mangle some of the names. In any case, let me share this screen. I think Rudyard Kipling's father is himself a fascinating figure, but he gets very little attention as he seems to be rather a forgotten figure. Here, this is from the Victoria and Albert Museum research project, John Lockwood Kipling. The 19th century arts and crafts revival in British India is a fascinating chapter in the international history of art and design. However, John Lockwood Kipling's career as designer and architectural sculpture creator and educator illustrator as journalist has received little attention, very sadly. That's a drawing by John Lockwood Kipling there on the left. As you can see, he's a rather fine draftsman. Look, I'm going to read out some of the article and it should perhaps prompt some people who might have an interest in this period to go and have a look. Lockwood Kipling also illustrated quite a few of Rudyard's books and you may have encountered his work without knowing it growing up, um, flipping through the Jungle Books and other things. Lockwood Kipling started his career as an architectural sculptor at the South Kensington Museum, later renamed the Victorian Albert Museum in 1861. He then spent a decade teaching at the Sir, and here comes the possible mispronunciations, Jamsets GG GG Boy School of Art in Mumbai. I hope there's no one in India dying laughing at me doing that. And a further in the 18 years of principal of the Mayo School of Industrial Arts in Lahore today Pakistan's National College of Arts and curator of the Lahore Museum. The v &A collections contain drawings by John Lockwood Kipling depicting potters, dyers, jewellery makers and toy makers, clot sellers, metal workers and wood carvers. In 2017, as you can see this is unfortunately archived material, the v &A will open an exhibition about John Lockwood Kipling created by Julius Byron, and Susan Weber, Bard Graduate Centre, will present the results of a three-year international research project, bringing together scholars from Mumbai, Lahore, London, New York, Vermont and Hawaii. At this point, I'm going to scroll down and you can have a look at some of the material in it. It's not really very well known, but Roger Kipling's father was the curator of the Lahore Museum. If you've ever read Kim, you'll notice the early section of it features the museum and there are comments about it this is an example of sort of kipling inserting a family member in a remote way into the text here's some more work by john lockwood kipling as you can see he's quite a, a decent artist he just seems to be a forgotten figure by uh, right now it's really very sad because Lockwood Kipling also trained a lot of Indian people to be architects and gave people a start in life. Ah, as you can see in the article, someone's quoted a bit from Kim. The best-known collaboration is Rudyard Pick's picaresque novel, Kim, where Lockwood has a cameo role as a kindly creator and keeper of images, a sahib with a white beard. I'm going to try and do a much fuller presentation on John Lockwood Kipling, and gather up material on him as he has a large number of base reliefs and other artwork which is absolutely stunning and the fact that he's such a forgotten figure is really really sad he, Rud, everyone knows Rudyard Kipling his son very few people sadly know the father